What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Darian with Darian the Dev and in this video I'm gonna go over five reasons that you shouldn't go to coding boot camp. All right, if you guys are brand new to the channel, if you're into tech, entrepreneurship, coding, startups, anything like that, make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. It really helps me stay motivated to put this content out for you guys. And in this video, honestly, I, I hate making this video because coding bootcamp changed my life a ton. As a huge disclaimer, I just want to put that out there for everybody who is just starting to watch this video or brand new to the channel. I went to coding bootcamp, so I want you to know that before we even go any further, all right? But the thing about this video is I feel like this needs to be said because I've mentioned it in other videos, but not only just that, I've had a lot of people reach out to me and I've talked to a lot of you um, who I really appreciate just actually reaching out and connecting with me and just trusting my advice. And I, I just feel like I have to give, you know, my honest, honest opinion for people out there who are considering going through this, especially in such a turbulent time right now with coronavirus going on and people losing their jobs and putting pretty much everything into coding bootcamp. I just want to make sure that people out there are getting fair information on knowing what to expect and being realistic about why you're going to coding bootcamp and what you can really expect if you're going to pay for it, um, especially with the model being all virtual right now. So, all right, all right, all right, let's just go ahead and get right into it, guys. I've got five things and uh, I'm just going to be very honest with you guys about why I think going to coding bootcamp right now during the lockdown, coronavirus, quarantine is just probably not the best move unless you absolutely know exactly what you want on the other side of the boot camp. All right, let's get right into it. The first and just overwhelming reason why I think people should not go to coding boot camp is the price, okay? The prices usually are the deal breaker. And I'm, I'm sure that's probably the obvious one for everybody out there who's watching this right now. Boot camps are generally pretty expensive. They're ranging anywhere from like 10,000 up to upwards of $20,000 to go to coding boot camps. And again, I went to coding boot camp, but I was fortunate enough to get a scholarship that was paid for by a company that was sponsoring my boot camp at that time. So I didn't actually have to pay for the boot camp. But what I will say is that if I had to pay for the boot camp myself, the biggest benefit of the boot camp is really going to be the in person instruction and the ability to learn and grow with your teammates and bond with your classmates and your instructors and the TAs and build relationships with the guidance counselors and the people who are who are at the boot camp who work there and who the network the alumni these are literally the things I've said in in other videos in the past guys but I just really really believe that that the majority of that price is only justified by the network and the experience of the people just the learning experience basically that's this provided the learning environment that's provided in the relationships that pretty much transcend the coding bootcamp. But the actual information, the instruction that you get in the coding bootcamp, I don't think is worth 10 to $20,000, okay? So price is the number one factor why I think in 2020, you know, and all while this pandemic is going on, I don't think that coding bootcamp is the way to go. The second reason why I'm against coding bootcamp right now during the pandemic is because there are way too many alternatives besides coding bootcamp to learn how to code. There's just way too many online courses. There's way too much free content from universities that actually put their computer science curriculum and education online, open source it. The videos, the lectures, the PDFs, everything that the students are taking at Yale and Harvard and all these prestigious schools. I mean, I even made a video a while ago, Oregon State made their DevOps bootcamp completely free. There's a video on my channel, guys, if you're brand new and you go back and look, I've made a video where there's a link to uh, an entire DevOps bootcamp that is given away for free by Oregon State University, guys, and most bootcamps don't even teach you DevOps, okay? And I'm just being completely honest here because, again, bootcamp changed my life, okay? And the information that you learn at bootcamp, if you if you know that coding is what you want to do, software development is what you want to do, or just working in IT in general is what you want to do, and you know for a fact that you're the type of person who absolutely needs to be in a classroom and be instructed by a teacher, and if that's the best learning model for you, 
then boot camps make a ton of sense. But by them now being virtual models, I just don't think they can justify the same pricing by you being at home in the comfort of your home and an instructor being on the other side of a camera and, and just working with you. I mean, I could be wrong. I just don't see how a student is going to get the same individualized one-on-one -on -one instruction, questions answered without being able to bond with their peers and have that relationship with the instructor. And you're all in a virtual classroom where you can't see each other and yeah, I don't know. That's a logistical thing that I think boot camps might struggle to really figure out right now. So that leads me to the next thing, which is point number three, that there's no guaranteed outcome from going to a coding boot camp. Okay, so I've talked to some people who seem like, you know, they they think that boot camp is gonna basically teach you all the skills you need to be a developer. And that's just really not the case. That's absolutely not the case. I think boot camp teaches you how to learn as a developer. I think boot camp teaches you how to it gives you the tools you need to continue learning after boot camp. You know, the things you need to learn to be a professional software engineer. But right out of boot camp, I don't really think anyone is ready to be a professional software engineer. And I think any first job that someone walks into, the job is also aware of that. They don't expect you to be, you know, quote unquote, a professional software engineer. I think it's more about your capacity and your ability to to become what they need you to be as a software engineer or your passion for learning or your ability to learn new things quickly learn new tools and skills and adapt to changing environments i think that is more important than necessarily what you've done coming directly out of coding boot camp because they know that your final project in a boot camp might be you know a, a cred application and that's that's incredible. That that's awesome. But one crud one crud application doesn't necessarily, I think, make you inherently ready to be a professional software engineer or developer. And um, I think most hiring managers and most jobs also know that. So it's more about how well you understand the concepts and how how much of a desire to learn and how coachable I think and things like that it's more intangible things other than just holding up a certificate saying i went to this coding boot camp and i graduated now hire me and you know give me a, a software development job like i just don't think that that is a realistic way to approach going to a coding boot camp because if you do i think you'll be disappointed by how many people don't end up becoming software engineers after coding boot camp it doesn't mean they don't still get jobs in tech but there's just so many other roles that people can be a better fit for it than a software developer once they go through coding bootcamp because they might realize that it might not be for them you know um they might have a specific thing about tech that they like they might be more of a project management person they might more have they might have more people skills than they do technical skills so certain things come more naturally than others to certain people and that is going to really you know, translate into the jobs that you get once you finish coding bootcamp. So I think going into coding bootcamp with a tangible outcome that you want and you know that that model is the best fit for you, I think that's the biggest thing that you need to focus on before going to coding bootcamp because they cannot guarantee you any sort of job or any sort of outcome or even that you'll know how to build an application after coding bootcamp. You can sit there through the entire curriculum and not learn anything or not know how to build your own application when you finish coding bootcamp by yourself. Again, guys, with that being said, just be mindful of what you want your outcome to be before you go to coding bootcamp. Because if you wanna get a job as a scrum master, project manager, or all these other things, you don't necessarily need to go to a coding bootcamp to do that. You might wanna go get a scrum master certification or get some sort of project management experience or project management certifications or something like that as opposed to spending you know, ten or $15,000 in debt to go learn coding to get a job that you won't ever use coding again for, if that makes sense. So number four, guys, is that you only learn the basics in coding bootcamp. So this is another reason why I just feel like it, you would, it benefits you more to just spend less money, but more time teaching yourself on your own than it would be to actually go to coding bootcamp because you're only going to scratch the surface in eight to 15 16 weeks you know however long these boot camps are where you guys are at um i think mine was like 12 weeks long or 10 weeks but either way in eight to 16 weeks guys you're not going to be able to learn 
everything. I mean, you won't even be able to learn a fraction of everything there is to know about computer science. That's just factual. There's so many things to know, guys. There's so many different areas of expertise. I mean, you have to think. Each individual area of coding that you learn in coding bootcamp is technically someone's entire career field, whether that's database developer, whether that's front end developer, whether that's uh, back end development, or even if it's just the, the DevOps side of things, or just the scrum side of things, or just the project management side of things, like all those things are whole careers. So there's no way that you can learn every angle and everything there is to know about it in the time you're at the bootcamp. So what that means is that you're paying you know, ten to twenty thousand dollars to learn the absolute basics about computer science. You could take that a fraction of that ten to fifteen thousand dollars, buy every single course <laughs> you see on Udemy or on Kajabi or Coursera or online or wherever you guys get your courses from, and spend a fraction of what you would spend on a boot camp and just take your time. Take all those courses, take them slowly, take notes. You know, go to meetups, ask questions, or you know, find friends online, make friends online that you can ask questions to that might be more knowledgeable in certain areas that you're studying. And just build your own community, build your own network of developer friends that you can ask questions to, stack overflow things. I mean, you don't you don't inherently need boot camp to learn these things, guys. And I, I'm just gonna continue stressing that because I just don't want people to feel like, you know, it's the only option, especially right now during the pandemic when, you know, jobs are, are, are very funny right now, loans and money and finances and everything is just very funny right now. I just don't want people to make this drastic decision about going to coding boot camp during this time, thinking that it's going to, you know, change my life forever after the pandemic, which it may or may not, depending on just how you view it going into it and what you expect going into it. The last thing guys, number five, is that passion cannot be taught, okay? Passion cannot be taught, guys. So no matter what coding bootcamp you go to, no matter how prestigious it is, and no matter how much it costs to go there, no matter how many people they placed at good jobs or fan companies or whatever, guys, it does not matter because they cannot teach you passion so again this goes back to kind of some of the previous points but know what you want out of the coding boot camp before you go to it because don't go in there expecting to just not put in any effort outside of coding boot camp or in your own time on your own projects banging your head against the wall you know making your own mistakes don't have that mentality and then show up to code and boot camp thinking that it's their responsibility to teach you everything that they that you know or sorry don't go to code and boot camp thinking don't go to code and boot camp with that mentality and then sit there and think that it's their responsibility to teach you everything that you need to know to get hired as a software developer <laughs> it's just not guys like it's not their job to get you to retain the information to be excited about learning this to be excited about coming to class every day to be excited about coding and putting in extra time and again like they're going to expose you to the things you need to know but it's your job to dig deeper it's your job to ask questions it's your job to show up and be enthusiastic and figure things out and make mistakes and you know to leverage all of their you know experience your instructors the tas and everybody at boot camp leverage them to get your questions answered and to help you become more knowledgeable because that's what you know that intrinsic passion will do for you but the boot camp is not going to make you excited about coding if you don't already get excited about coding you know you're going to hate it because they're going to make you do it and you're going to be accountable you're going to lose money by being held accountable and failing the exams or homework assignments or the final project like whatever it is it's just they can't teach the passion for you you have to already be excited about learning this excited about the career transition and excited about the challenges the coding bootcamp is gonna make you face. So yeah, guys, I just wanted to make this video real quick uh, to get my five tips on why I think you know bootcamp is not the best decision right now during the pandemic. If you aren't sure that you are passionate about coding and you want to become a software developer, and this is the best way for you to learn as a learner, 
I think that's the only way you should consider going to Cody Boot Camp right now. So leave me some comments down below, guys. Also, in the description box down below, guys, there is a link to my free intro to Coding Boot Camp course where I'm giving away everything I wish I knew before I went to Coding Boot Camp, and it only costs your email address. So make sure you guys check that out. There's also a link to a free private Facebook group where I'm building a community of people where I just give away all the resources that I don't put in all the description boxes of the videos down below so make sure you guys go check that out but again guys thank you guys for being here with me this is darian with darian and dev and i'll see you guys next video all right peace